TDM is one of the hardest game modes to get a Moab in, up there with Free For All and of course Search and Destroy. So I figured any helpful tips or insight I could give to you guys will always be appreciated. So I guess let's just go ahead and get right into it. So my first tip to give would be to basically use a class that you're comfortable with, and that would include your guns, perks, and etc. So basically what I used in this gameplay was the AA-12 with extended mags, and scavenger, hardline, steady aim, and I had damage on my AA-12. Now I have used this class for a while, and I was really skilled with this class, at least in my opinion, so I knew it would be a decent class to get a MOAB with. And I had also recently gotten MOABs with this class, so I figured I was really comfortable using this class, and I figured I could get a MOAB with this class, just in general. So once you've gotten your class all made and ready to go, I would suggest try and have all your perks pro. Now some of the most important perks to get pro would be Recon, Syrup, and Dead Silence. Now Recon Pro is amazing because basically if you even touch one of the enemies, they will appear as like a triangle on the map for 10 seconds. And Dead Silence Pro is good so they don't hear you, plus you don't take fall damage. And Syrup Pro is amazing because you can just sound whore for days and all day. And that leads me to my other tip, being have a headset. Preferably a Turtle Beach or an Astro. I use the Turtle Beach X11s. They're the cheapest, that are the best Turtle Beaches. There is one Turtle Beach headset that's cheaper, but it's not too good. I've used it, and I definitely recommend the X11s as your best bet. My next tip would be to always try and pick up another primary as a secondary weapon, and try and have this second primary as like the exact opposite of your actual primary. So in this case, I picked up a Top 95, which is basically the exact opposite of a shotgun. So basically, the shotgun, any other type of weapon would be the exact opposite because shotguns are really, you know, up close weapons, and everything else is kind of like up close, medium, and long range. So if you have an SMG, then pick up like an assault rifle, and if you have an assault rifle, then pick up like an SMG or a shotgun, and pretty much just vice versa. Next, I would say to always pay attention to the radar. Now, as you see in this video, I try and always stay away as far, as far, as far as way from my teammates as possible, because if you're near your teammates, and that means you're not near the enemy. I mean, if you just look at the radar, you can just use your teammates as your own UAV, because if they are in certain positions, if they're all bunched up together, then nine times out of ten, the enemy won't be near them. So if you just move away from them, you're going to find the enemies and just get more kills for yourself. Next, I would say to always play smart and play tactically. Now, some misconceptions with playing smart, it's not camping. I mean, you could camp, and that'd be, I guess, playing smart. But, I mean, you're going for a mill on a TDM, so you need to be aggressive. And you basically need to play smart. Like, here, there's a bunch of guys around me. I'm not trying to go after them to go, like, Rambo style to get all the kills, because I'd probably die if I did that. I'm staying in this building, taking cover, and picking people off at a distance with the Top 95 because that's an advantage that I have over them. And actually, that leads me to my next uh, tip, which would be to always outthink your opponent. Always predict what they're going to do if you can, and then just outsmart them. Like here, I knew this guy was on the enemy map. I knew he was going to be coming from behind us, so instead of going the way I said Xan went, I turned around and killed him. And right here, too, I see him on the enemy map. I assume he's coming from behind us, so once again, I turn around get him and you know boom right there so always predict what your enemies are going to do and then just you know outplay them just completely outplay them and you're going to do great hey guys so, moving on to the very last tip and what will most likely be the most obvious tip would be to always use the specialist package this is my friend commentary he gave me his gameplay now, the other day i have a ps3 but he's obviously playing on the xbox at the moment oh we'll come more um videos Basically, yeah, always use the specialist. With my now. commentary now, and you don't have, to use a specialist, but have any questions, just leave them in the comment but section. You still always use these tips while using yeah, and I'll also bring up it, it, like you guys in the comments, and I'll try and do those uh, gameplays with you. Commentary or no commentary. And also, my clan is also doing a channel at. We're just doing a channel at the moment, so. Or get them at all together. You should always use one or the other. Tell you more about that.